Good morning, Year 8. Today is Sunday the 12th of April 2020, and we're now going to move on to 2.3, expanding and factorizing expressions. So the learning intention for today is write and simplify expression, involved in brackets and powers. And then the second part of the lesson, we will look at factorizing and algebraic expression. So this is lesson one of four. Um, right, so let's move on to the first question. So the warm-up questions on exercise 2.3. So hopefully by now you should be quite confident with these. So if, for example, question 1a, 5a times 3b, well, 5 times 3 is 15, so that's 15. a times b is a, b. So that should be 15, a, b. Question 2, expand. Remember, expand means multiply out. So you're going to do 2 times 3x, which is 6x. 2 times 5 is a positive 10. Question 3, again, you, you've got expanding. So you're going to do x times x is x squared, x times 5 plus, plus 5x. So notice how these, uh, these won't uh, simplify any further. So that's x squared plus 5x, 6x plus 10. 15AB. Now I'll let you do the rest of the questions um, and we'll move on to the second part. So there is question, question five. Remember, copy the questions and write answers. You don't have to copy the diagrams, but in some cases it might help you. So for each shape, write an expression for the area of the shape. Remember, the area is the length times the width. And then expand the brackets in your expression. So for this one, uh, you're doing x multiply 3x plus 2. So let me just get rid of this. So x times 3x is 3x squared. Oh, sorry, I forgot to write in the plus 2 there. And then the x times the plus 2 is plus 2, 2x. So x times 3x is 3x squared. x times 2, 2x. So 3x squared plus 2x. Again, I'll let you do the others. Now remember, for these shapes, the parallelogram and the triangle, you need to um, use the area for the parallelogram. So you need to research that on Google, look for what is the formula for the area of a parallelogram, and then look for the area or how to work out the area of a triangle. Now remember, the, tri the, the height you're using, so it's length times the height divided by two, you've got to use the perpendicular height, the vertical height. Question six. So again, copy the question, uh, so expand. So again, we're doing the everything inside the brackets, we've been expanded by what's outside the brackets. So you're going to do the first one, you're going to do x times x squared is x to the power of three, so that's x cubed. x times four x is going to be x squared. So let me just write this out. So it's going to be x cubed plus 4x squared. So that's your first question, 6a. So x, remember x here is really x to the power of one. Anything to the power of one is the number itself, in this case x. So x times x squared is x cubed, x to the power of three. x times four x is four x squared. Okay, again, I'll let you do the rest of the questions. Be careful here, there's a negative sign in front. So positive times the negative is going to give you a negative. 
And here we've got question six, x squared plus four x, sorry, in brackets, x squared plus four x multiplied by x. Again, I like using the grid method, I just find it easier. So I'll do the first one with you. So x times x squared is x cubed, x to the power of three, x times four x, or x squared. Oh, just realized I've already done that question. I just set it up in this uh, way to make it easier for you to see. This one, again, you would do 5x times x to the power of 3. Imagine if that's 5x to the power of 1. So that would be 5x to the power of 4. 5x times 2x squared. So that's 10x to the power of 3. And then 5x times 7. So that would be plus 35x. Now for these kind of questions, so you got, you're expanding double brackets, but then you've got to simplify. So you've got to collect the same creatures. So if we do the first one, I'll do it on the grid method, as I said. So we've got two times a, two times three b, then on the right hand side, you've got five times a, five times b. So two times a is 2a, 2 times 3b is a positive, the most positive, 6b. Then on the right hand side, we've got 5 times a is 5a, 5 times b, 5b. So if I just quickly write these out, you've got 2a plus 6b. Then on the right hand side, you've got plus 5a plus b. So which two are the same? So let's get our highlighter. We've got 2a and 5a. So that will be 7a. 2a plus 5a is 7a. And then the other two creatures or terms which are the same. So we've got 6b plus 5b is so that's a positive 11b. Again, remember, show your workings, either do it in this grid method, or if you prefer to, you can, under here, you could expand the left, then expand the right, then rewrite the whole expressions now without the brackets, then collect the same creatures together, and then simplify. Okay, again, I'll let you do the rest of the questions, B, C, and D. You choose the method you prefer, and then write your answers but remember to copy the question as well. Question eight, reasoning, the diagram shows a cuboid. So you've got x plus four on one side, x on one side, and x on the other side. Write an expression for the volume of a cuboid. So remember, the volume is this times this times this. So you write it as x times x times x plus four. Ex expand and then simplify. Show that an expression for the surface area. Now the surface area, remember, a cuboid has six faces, one here, one here, so it's one, two, three, four, five up the back, six up the other side. So if you work out individually each face, because in a cuboid, the opposite faces are the same, so this area here and this area, this area, this area will be the same, whereas this area and this area in the bottom, the faces, Will be different but you still add them all up individually to work out the surface area you might need to go on google again and search how to work out the surface area of cuboids and then the discussion part is for the volume doesn't matter in which order you multiply the three lengths together so would it make any difference if i did this times this times this or if i did this times this then multiplied by this so does it make any difference Okay, so part, that was part A and B. We'll stop there for now. So that was today's lesson. Any questions, please message me. Um, hopefully you're all doing okay. And um, I look forward to seeing tomorrow's lesson. So tomorrow's lesson, we'll move on to lesson two or four, Monday the 30th of April, 2.3.
part two, where we'll look at question 9 and 13, which will be on factorising.